Hello everybody, this is Gregory with How I Lost Over 100 Pounds and have kept it up for 30 plus years, where there should be no hesitance in your weight loss and in your weight maintenance. Today we're going to continue the series Confessions of an Obese Child and talk about what it was like to have a good looking popular older brother. Now before we begin, if you need help with your weight loss, contact me through the Clarity FM link found here in the episode notes. Also check out my website, it has a lot of articles and recipes, over 600 of them. Check out my podcasts, and lastly, if you appreciate my content, please hit the like button right now and post a comment that helps with the algorithm. And then there is a link for PayPal if you want to make a small donation. All right, so I haven't really talked about my, my brother too much. I've talked about my mother later on. I'm going to talk about my father in upcoming episodes. But I have two older brothers, and the brother older closest to me is six years older. And I, I, I would tell you, like, growing up, he was a very handsome man. He's still a handsome man. He's 54 now. But he kind of had this mixture of Tom Cruise and Scott Wolf from Party of Five. I don't know if he would like that description. But uh, he was a very good looking guy, very charismatic, very popular. I mean, going back to middle school, certainly in high school, he was a varsity soccer player in college. He was in a fraternity, outgoing, gregarious, smart, bright guy, charming, just everything my father would want in a child. <clears throat> So what was it like being a fat kid with such a stark dichotomy as the older brother? Now, to be fair, my brother and I, they're six years apart, but there were, so we, we didn't really spend a lot of time together. But I also remember, you know, you think about like he left for college at 18, so I was 12. So you look at those, those kind of years of, let's say, you know, six to 12. I do have a lot of memories. We shared a bedroom together. Uh, when, when he was younger and I was probably like six, seven years old. And I just remember, maybe like eight, and we just had like, I just remember rock band posters everywhere. Early Motley Crue. He was a big fan of Van Halen. We had Van Halen. We had NFL pennants because he was, we were both into the NFL. And he had a phone in, in his room. And I just remember like listening to him talk to girls and just trying to like learn from him because he had a plethora of girls that liked him and girlfriends and so forth. So I distinctly remember that. I remember us playing video games all the time. We would play Tech Mobile and I would get mad at him as a young kid because he would do the same play on me, but the same play would work and he would score touchdowns all the time. We would throw the football a little and, and so forth. And the older we got, now he went to the same Catholic elementary school that I did. And it was nice to have an older brother there. So when I was like in second grade, he was still there. It was just nice to have an older brother there to look, kind of look after you and protect you from bullying. And I wasn't too bullied in the early years because I wasn't super fat yet. And at that age, kids are still nice to each other. There's no clicks or anything like that. But things started changing when we got older because he started, and I realized this, and this was nothing that he did wrong. Let me be clear. I don't remember ever my brother bullying me or taunting me because of my weight, never. I remember there was a time we would, I mean, he would, like my, my parents would go out of town to Europe or wherever and he would throw these raucous parties and you know, I would get the typical younger brother bullying, like he would throw me in a sleeping bag, zip it up, he and his friends, and then throw me in the front lawn right next to the street because we lived on a very busy street to spook me. Uh, I do have really good funny memories of the birthday, or of the parties, he had had raucous parties at our house. And um, he would also like, we would play tackle football, but since I was, I was so big uh, and he was older, he, would, he and his friends would get on their knees and I would not be on my knees. I'd have the ball and they would try to tackle me. And we'd have fun doing this stuff like that. But the older we got or the older I got, I, I started connecting him to the popular people who were bullying me because the same type of people that he kind of represented the popular people with the same people that were bullying me. And so when I got to middle school and certainly in high school, I think there was an element of anger toward my brother that was misdirected because he didn't deserve the anger. But he was like, a, a, I wouldn't say daily reminder because he was off to college, but he was a reminder of these are the types of guys who bully me. And I remember, you know, other good memories. My first date right after I lost my weight, I was a senior in high school and he was really big into J. Crew, So he lent me some of his shirts and he would give me tips. Like he told me to put cologne behind my ears uh, because when you hug or you're intimate, you could smell. Like he would give me a lot of these good tips. Uh, but when I got into, into college, I had the opportunity to join a fraternity. Uh, he kind of arranged that. We didn't go to the same university, but I could have joined a fraternity. But part of me was like, 
I don't want to have to pay for my friends. But really a lot of it was just, I still had displaced anger toward these popular people, the types that used to bully me, even though at this college, these guys didn't bully me. And they didn't even know that I was fat. But I got offers to join the fraternities and I, t- I, I, I declined it. And in retrospect, I only declined it because I was insecure, because I still felt like a fat kid in a regular guy's body. And we'll talk about this in a lot of episodes um, when we talk about that kind of transition, the difficult transition it is from weight loss to thinking that you're normal and having a normal relationship with food as well. But my brother, in retrospect, was a good brother, and he's a good brother now. But it was difficult to have a, a brother that you knew your father, even though my father loved me, and we'll have an episode on him pretty soon, you know, my brother represented everything a father would want in a son. Good looking, popular, smart, and good athlete. And it was difficult kind of growing up in his shadow, obviously as a fat kid who was not popular and had no friends. Uh, but ultimately, you know, I never, I never really resented him. I'm sure as I got older and I was in middle school, I was jealous of his success with women because I wanted to have a girlfriend and girls wouldn't give me a time of day. We have well, an up, upcoming episode on my relations, relations with girls when I was a fat kid. But as a whole, I have really nothing to complain about. My brother was a good brother to me. He never bullied me. And my issues that I had later on in junior high and high school with him were all about me. And it was nothing about he or what he did. It was more about what he represented. Guys, post in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Hit the notification, subscribe, and share button. Share with others. Until next time, take care. God bless and pray.